I have a love-hate relationship with YouTube Shorts, and in this video I'm going to try to explain why and some healthy ways that we can handle this new form of content because it's not going away. What's up guys, my name is Trevor Hunt, thank you for joining the channel. If you follow my channel, I want to thank you for coming back. You've probably noticed that I've been doing YouTube Shorts almost daily for the last month and a half, and it's been a really positive growth indicator for my channel. My channel has literally grown 9,000% in the last month and a half just using my phone, and I've been doing some tests and stuff, but I realize one thing. I, in one hand, I absolutely hate short form content. And on the other hand, I love the benefits. So why don't we start off with the positive stuff and then we can go to the more negative things. So first of all, the things I love about YouTube shorts, the reach that I get is insane. YouTube boosts my videos way more. I get subscribers way easier and I get a lot more views. I guess reach and views would be the same thing, right? So I can make a short and put some effort into it. And I know I could probably get like 5,000 views pretty easily. I can also make a short and put no effort. And I'm talking, I have made videos that were, that took me five minutes to create and they'll get anywhere from 400 views almost instantly to 7,000 views. Um, that has helped me kind of expand my reach. And because of these short form content, I've went from 1,300 subscribers to 1,500 in about a month, which has been really cool to see that growth. But while I was making short form content, I decided to engage in some of it. I don't ever watch short videos. I never have until about a month ago when I started making them. And long story short, so I found myself doom scrolling for the first time in my life. And it was like 45 minutes of scrolling on YouTube shorts. And then I think my son was napping. So then he woke up from his nap and I put my phone away and my brain, I was in a brain fog. I just couldn't focus. I felt super distracted. I didn't feel very present with my kid and that just didn't sit right with me. And I realized that I kind of hated the like ADHD inducing nature of YouTube shorts. And I can't help but wonder as someone who works with children full time, if technology and short form content is kind of adding to that distractedness of young children. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but it just feels like it. So that's that's one of the things I hate about YouTube shorts. I hate how they seem to add to this overall inattentive, distracted, ADHD like mindset, not just when you watch the content, but then after you're done consuming the content, that brain fog that you kind of have after the point. So love them for the benefits of my channel. And there are some videos that are really funny to watch. I love how I can watch for five minutes and get like a bunch of content in, but I hate the ADHD like nature of it, how distracting it can be. And I hate feeling like I'm, I'm kind of the problem because I create content for shorts. So it's like, I'm the bad guy a little bit. So one thing I'm doing to combat that is I wanna start making long form content again. And I don't just wanna make long form content, but I wanna make content with as few jumps as possible, as few cuts as possible. I want it to be content that you can walk away from and not feel like I just blasted you with ADHD in the brain. I want you to feel like you can focus more, you can walk away and you can enjoy your family and your life. So let's talk about what we can do about shorts. And short form content. I would highly suggest if you're someone who struggles with like self-control on a phone, that you probably don't consume it at all. Long form content's gonna be better because you search it out and you can really commit to one video and move on. The issue with short form content, every time you swipe, you get a dopamine hit because you don't know what's coming next. It's like, this could be good or this could be bad. It almost feels like gambling. I get a payoff when I see a really funny video, but the problem with that is it becomes extremely addicting and distracting. And so then you start doom scrolling, you start getting sucked into this content. And pretty soon you find yourself, every time you pull up your phone, you're going to TikTok or YouTube and looking short videos because God knows no one's watching Facebook reels or Instagram reels um, <laughs> except for my mom. Sorry, mom. But that short form content, not always great for your brain. So what I would recommend if you struggle with that is stop watching it. When you watch my videos, I hope my content is such that you can pop an earbud in and set your phone down and not even have to watch me. Like why look at this face longer than you have to? Get your eyes off your screen and just listen. Listen while you're mowing, listen while you're, I don't know, washing the dishes, but you don't have to watch your screen all the time to enjoy content. Just be intentional. Guys, um, don't get sucked in. Don't let your phone pull you away from your family like mine did like a week or two ago. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Comment down below if you have anything to add, like what you do to have healthy content. Thank you for coming. Please subscribe. God bless you. And as always, take it easy.